The Stony Brook football team traveled to Orono, Maine on Saturday, November 2nd for a matchup against the 10th ranked Maine Black Bears in CAA play. Let's check the highlights now brought to you by Simplex Grinnell. The story in the first half was the tenacious Seawolves defense. Here comes Niam Cheeseboro for the sack. Then early in the second quarter, more pressure from the Seawolves defense. Here comes Victor Ochi working his way around the outside, gets to the quarterback. This would become a recurring theme as Maine just had no answer for the Seawolves defensive line. Here's Aaron Thompson with the sack. And then how about Ochi one more time? Maine quarterback Marcus Wachalewski with no chance. Stony Brook had five sacks in the game. Let's pick up the action now late in the second quarter. Maine up 6-0 and looking for more. Wachalewski airing it out down the sideline. Finds John Ebeling pickup of 30 yards inside the 10-yard line. And then two plays later, Ricky Stevens gets the draw. Takes it to pay dirt from two yards out to give Maine a 13-0 lead late in the half. And the Black Bears would take that advantage into the locker room. In the third quarter, the Seawolves would turn to their bread and butter to get back into the game. Here, quarterback Lyle Negron hands to running back James Kenner, who fights his way up the middle. And then Negron hands to freshman running back Tyler Fredericks, who plows down to the one-yard line. The drive would come down to a fourth and goal from the one-inch line, and Negron is able to shuffle his way across the plane. And early in the third quarter, the Seawolves are back in the game at 13-7. To the early stages of the fourth we go, Seawolves on the move yet again. Here Negron's going to roll out and he finds tight end Will Ty on third down, picks up 20 yards. Then later in the drive on a fourth and 10, Stony Brook out of field goal range, Negron back to Ty, 22 yards as he rumbles inside the 10 and that would set up this. Kenner from two yards out. Finds his way into the end zone and Stony Brook has its first lead of the game. It's 14-13 with 11 minutes to play in the fourth quarter. But Maine would not go quietly. Here midway through the final frame, Wachalewski airs it out to his tight end, Justin Perillo. 18-yard pickup up near midfield. And then Wachalewski going to make it happen again. Here he steps back in the pocket, lofts it up to Ebling, climbs the ladder, goes over the defender, gain of 34 yards, and here come the Black Bears late in the fourth. On the very next play, watch the pretty pump fake from Wachalewski. Has Ebling wide open, a 24-yard touchdown strike. Maine regains the lead at 19 to 14. Stony Brook would intercept the two-point conversion and they would have one final chance with the ball in the closing seconds down by five. Negron just trying to extend the play, lofts it up as far as he can throw it, but it's intercepted at the 15-yard line. The Black Bears hold off the Seawolves to send Stony Brook to its fourth straight CAA defeat. Kenner and Fredericks combined for nearly 200 yards on the ground, while the Stony Brook defense held the Black Bears to under 260 total yards. The Seawolves will be back in action next Saturday, November 9th, against CAA foe Richmond. Kickoff from Laval Stadium is set for 1 p.m.